Okay, so in this video we're just going to have a quick look at the parts stock report. So if we go into the parts stock report area, and in here you have a few different options. So you can run from different start dates to end dates, so you can find out what stock you had or purchased during those times. You can do what current stock you have, or you can select from different parts. So you can actually see which ones you have um, in stock for different parts, or by categories as well. So you can select off a different category too. And then you can choose an output, so you could either select to do a PDF, you can print, or you can have a CSV file if you want to have it into Excel. So we're just going to run this one as a current stock, because this is always a handy report so you can see what you've actually got in stock at the time. So we'll click run here. Okay, and this is just going to go to give us a printout of our current stock, so we can actually see what we've actually got, the categories, uh, the unit cost price, how many we've got in stock, and a total stock value as well. So then we could actually print that if we wanted. If we just click the continue button, we can print out and we've got a list of our entire inventory there.